can't believe I'm actually here. <laughs> I need to sit down and film a whole updates video for you guys. But basically these last eight months have been quite spontaneous. So it wasn't really in the plan to come back to Paris until Moya said to me that she was going away for a month and that she was gonna be subletting her apartment. I was like, oh my God, me, we'll take it. But we're back and it feels so good. It's a bit chilly. I wanted to quickly pop in and show you guys some new cutie pieces that I picked up from a jury. This is your PSA that their biggest sale of the year is about to go live and you guys can get early access to it by signing up to become a Majuri Plus member, which of course is totally free. I've actually already got in and have been wearing some of the pieces I got because I got this package a few days ago and I couldn't wait. <laughs> I've already shown you guys these chunky Charlotte hoops before because I got a pair back in June, but I freaking lost one when I was jumping off the back of a boat in Greece. So these are my replacement pair and I'm so happy to have them back in my life again. And then to go with, I'm finally deciding to make the most of my second piercing hole. I picked up these dainty little diamond studs. I also grabbed a pair of their mini pave heart studs. They have the matching heart pave bracelet so I thought it would be kind of cute to have a matchy moment. And then lastly I've added this fun charm bracelet to my collection. This is the Rolo charm bracelet and I've just added their diamond letter charm. I got an A because I'm a simp like that. <laughs> if you're eyeing off any of the pieces that I've mentioned or even shown in the past, now is the time to treat yourself. Majuri only do this 20% off sale once a year. Like always, I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. And if you do get anything from the sale, please send me a haul on Instagram because I love so much when you guys do that. Gym class is literally the last thing I feel like doing right now. It's almost 7 p.m. But class pass is really freaking good at keeping you accountable. If I cancel, I'll lose my credits. So here I am going and I know I'll feel really good for it once I'm done anyway. I have dinner tonight with some friends at 9 though. So it's going to be a pretty quick turnaround. I'm going to race back afterwards and hop in the shower. got ready. Kind of love my outfit this morning. Well, it's not this morning. It's like 12.30. I'm wearing these black jeans, this coat underneath. I have my little Cezanne Cardi and I'm going to meet a new friend for coffee and then another friend this afternoon for like dinner, an early dinner slash drinks. So it's going to be a really fun Sunday. It's sunny as well outside. Oh my God, blue skies. On my way to meet Alina. So nice out. You're gonna have to do a case there. morning being a very productive girly i've actually just been getting some work done my work situation is pretty funny i just like use the bed as a desk and sit on the floor here it's surprisingly not too uncomfortable 
I've spoken about this tons, but I'm not very good at like actually physically showing me work. I just find it so boring. I want to make a conscious effort to kind of document it more because I always get questions being like, what do you actually do? And I'm like, trust me, there is a lot going on behind the scenes. I also understand that it kind of doesn't really add up and they're like, this girl just goes to cafes and sees friends. I've created this little infographic for Generation SPF. We're doing another yoga session, although I haven't been actually going to and running the Generation SPFs because they happen in Australia. I've still been doing a lot of the content for it and just kind of organizing the events and things. I've sent this to the yoga studio that we collaborate with. This is just a picture of Pinterest, by the way. And then I've also just done these story mock-ups with some designs for merch that we're coming out with this summer. I haven't officially spoken about it on any of my social channels yet. 80% of the profits are gonna be going to a charity and then 20% are gonna be going back into Generation SPF. And it's gonna be like mainly for people that just come to the swim itself um, but depending on how successful it is and if anyone else wants to buy it I might look at potentially putting some online to send to you guys but I need to kind of navigate that because I can't do it through Lolita by Lolita because like I said I want the 80% of the proceeds to go to the charity and I want it to be like separate so I think I found a solution to that being like having a completely separate PayPal account but I need to kind of speak to some people who have done this before and just kind of cross check that. So yeah, I was also finalizing some designs for Lolita by Lolita. I talked about in my recent Q&A kind of some of the struggles that I have been facing with running my business from abroad. Running a small business is fun, equally stressful, but I feel like I'm learning and growing a lot because of that. And that is one of the main reasons I do it. I think I might take myself out on a little solo lunch date. Alex is actually on a test shoot right now. I was meant to go, but I was feeling a bit overwhelmed and just wanted to stay home and work. Bit of a random turn of events. <laughs> Decided to take myself to a workout class. Usually in Australia, catch me absolutely never working out after the mornings. I'm going to a Barry's boot camp class, which hopefully you guys can hear me, I don't know. But uh, it's like a treadmill interval running class that I've done once before. <sighs> it was so hard. I'm so dead. can even see me right now. I feel like it's really dark. Anyway, I'll be quick. I grabbed some new granola. I'm quite excited about this. It's like all natural and it has almonds in it, which I love. So breakfast is about to get a bit more exciting. I grabbed my favorite, or and Alex's favorite, lint dark chocolate with sea salt, some little pots of vanilla yogurt to go with granola. I'm literally so sweaty now all of a sudden. I need to have a shower. And then I also grabbed these sweet little figs from Mr. Fruit Shop Man. He wasn't very nice, to be honest, but I hope they're not squish. The squish are really sad. Ooh, they look very ripe, but I'm sure they're going to be delicious. And then I grabbed this fresh OJ, which I drank most of on the way home because it's so good. I just had a shower and got into my PJs. I have this like rash on the side of my face. I think it's kind of like dermatitis. I've never really had it before, but I think it's the cold weather because my skin in general is just so freaking dry. Like my scalp, I've never had dandruff this bad. I know that is so gross, but it has to be the change in weather. I need to do like a hair exfoliant or mask or something. If you guys have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments. Anyways, um, I've just ordered some Thai food on Deliveroo. So we're going to have a little takeaway night in. I think we're going to watch a movie on the projector, which we've been doing pretty much every single night. It's literally the best thing. I'm so jealous of you, Moya, that you get to do this every night. Okay, we got green veg curry. Yum, that looks very good. Rice. And then this is like chicken. Yummy. Mm -hmm. 
It's Alex and I's three year anniversary today and I went to a gym class this morning. I just got home, well not just, I got home like an hour ago since I've showered, washed and blow dried my hair. But when I got home, I opened the door to the cutest surprise. Trust me to have dropped them. Thankfully Moya has this jug that I'm going to put them into. French florists wrap their flowers so prettily. And he said that he individually picked out every single flower. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna set them by the bed. Look how cute. I love them. On the first Friday of every single month, the Louvre is open for free after 6 p.m. So lucky us that it falls on our anniversary because we're gonna spend the night at the Louvre. I'm just putting some very light makeup on. I honestly wasn't even going to, but then I was like, eh, maybe fine, I will. <laughs> I haven't been to the Louvre since I first came to Paris when I was like 12. I remember my dad took me and I was insanely underwhelmed when I saw the Mona Lisa. I was like, it's so small. <laughs> But the gallery itself is just so big and I kind of don't really remember it. So this lighting is not ideal for makeup. I might go and finish this in the bathroom and then I'll show you my final outfit. Okay, my outfit is very basic. I'm just wearing this white long sleeve underneath for warmth. Star of the show though, I found this brown suede bomber at the shop today. It's so cheap, I'm so stoked. Crossbody La Mer. What's wrong with your face? You look like you just saw a ghost. Was it real or not? You're hiding away. That's a line. Wait, no. <laughs> oh, We've decided to brave the line, but hot tip, book tickets in advance because you'll miss the line if you do that. And it's cold waiting in this line. <laughs> Defeated by the line. We'll come back another time, I'm too cold to stay waiting in that line. What a fail. I'm so sad, but... Oh well. Why, why